From video wallpapers to fake Windows updates to an OP clipboard manager, I am back yet again with another episode of 11 free Windows apps that Microsoft doesn't want you to know about. And this time we've gone deeper with the research to find apps that are genuinely underrated, extremely useful, and more importantly, free. Damn! All right, let's begin. Hi, I'm Ashad. This is Track and Tech English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. I know that a lot of Windows users love using Wallpaper Engine, but you have to get it off of Steam and every single time you want to use Wallpaper Engine for, you know, dynamic wallpapers in the background, you have to actually have Steam active as well. This does hog up a lot of system resources. We actually found a better alternative to Wallpaper Engine and it's called Lively Wallpaper. Have you guys tried it out yet? So basically with Lively Wallpaper, instead of using a static wallpaper, you can actually use a dynamic video wallpaper as well. Basically, this app is extremely customizable. You can get whatever custom video or GIF that you like and it's open source as well so it is actively updated by the developer community too it also supports multi-monitor setups and ultra wide screens and more importantly it pauses wallpapers during full screen apps to save resources the second app that i'm going to recommend is an alternative to local send that we are loving these days it's called blip now one reason why we prefer blip over local send is that it's not only a peer-to-peer -peer wi-fi connected network for sharing big files you can actually share files on blip through the internet as well. Of course, you can send large files, folders, all of this with zero compression. Of course, it works across every single platform that you can think of, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, uh, you know, whatever OS that you can think of, Android, of course. And more importantly, it's got end-to-end -end encryption with resumable transfers. Again, another feature that local send doesn't have. Now, I know that a lot of people want to use their iPad or an Android tablet as a second screen with your Windows machine. You can do that with Space Desk. So it works over Wi-Fi or USB tethering. It also supports touch input from your secondary device which is damn cool there is very low latency by the way something that i really appreciate and it's also compatible with multiple devices at the same time now before i talk about the next app these videos we love doing it for you and we love your support as well at the same time so go ahead hit that subscribe button you must have seen a lot of funny reels around an office environment where somebody to fool their manager has actually used a fake windows update well this is how you do it with a prank app called loaf so with this app, you can actually prank your co-workers because once you start it, it actually replicates, uh, you know, the Windows update screen. It also triggers a full screen mode and to exit it, there's a proper safe key combo as well. Now, if you ever wanted an alternative to your default Windows clipboard manager, then we've got the right app for you. It's called Ditto Clipboard Manager, which basically copies anything you throw at it. Yes, including HTML links. And the best part is you can actually search through all of your copies. You can also customize your hotkey for, you know, quick pasting. And it's extremely lightweight, which is something that I really, really appreciate. Now, if you're somebody like me who has, you know, multiple calendars because you have an iPhone, you have an Android phone, you have a Windows machine, all of that put together, then One Calendar is definitely the app that you must try out. So this One Calendar app actually integrates all of your calendars within one app itself, which includes your Google Calendar, your iCloud Calendar, even Microsoft Outlook Calendar, everything. You also get color-coded events and reminders, and there's offline support with local caching as well. I love PDF. No, no, I don't actually love PDFs. I'm talking about I love PDF, an online tool that everybody keeps recommending. But if you want an offline version of that, it's called PDF24 Creator, and it's really, really good. With this app, you can edit, compress, convert, and merge all PDFs just the way you want to. And it's a fantastic alternative to Adobe Acrobat and it's completely free as well. Really, I'm recommending this app so that you don't have to watch that Ankur Wariku ad. Now, if you're a student, this app uh, should be on top of your list. In fact, even Tanishk uses it a lot here for research too. And it's called Zotero. Now, this is a smart organizer for all of your PDFs, your research, your articles and screenshots. So with this, you can actually save web pages, documents and notes with one click. You get auto tagging and smart collections, it supports browser extensions and different citation formats as well. Now, if you're somebody like me who loves Mac OS, then you must be wondering, Eshad, why are you making this video? Because you love these videos, and right? it's definitely useful, right? <laughs> anyway, now if you're somebody who likes Mac OS and if you like the design aesthetic of it, you can actually have it running on your Windows system as well, the same UI. And this app is called Ceylon UI. Definitely try it out. It is it just emulates the Mac OS environment. It's basically like a Mac OS launcher that you can install on top of Windows to make it look like Mac OS. And the best part is that you get, you know, customizable widgets and themes that you can uh, use. And more importantly, it works absolutely well, even on old and not very powerful PCs. All right, my 10th app recommendation is Crap Fixer. Anyway, with Crap Fixer, what you can do is clean up your Windows entirely with the single click. 
of a button. So it cleans junk files, broken shortcuts and leftover data. And there's a one click fix everything button, which is sort of like magic. Also very importantly, it's lightweight and beginner friendly because that's the most important thing that we look for uh, when we're searching these tools. Now the final app that I want to recommend is a tool for proper nerds out there. It's called Fan Control. Now I know a lot of people like to control their fan curve using the BIOS, but there are definitely limitations to it. You can only control the fan curve of certain hardware that is connected to the motherboard via, you know, PWM headers. If you don't want to go through the BIOS, you don't want to go through all of this, you know, hassle, then there is the app called Fan Control. Now for this, you can directly open the app on your Windows system. It's got a very easy to understand graphical user interface and you can control control every single fan in your system. For example, your CPU or GPU case fans, every single thing. It also supports per fan and per sensor configurations, works with most modern motherboards. And of course you get live control, like I mentioned. All right, that was our list of the 11 new free Windows apps that you must absolutely try out. And I think Tanishq has done a bang up job. If you like Tanishq's work, then definitely give him a thumbs up in the comments. Also, if you have any recommendations for awesome Windows apps, we would love to try it out. And of course you'll be helping the community as well. So go ahead, do that also in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and keep endorsing.